Hi, my name is Anshu and welcome to my channel Bottleneck. This is a Scala design pattern series. In our previous videos, we had learned about what is an implicit design pattern and we saw what are different type of implicits. Also, in our previous video, we implemented an implicit object using a ordering trait on person class. Now, in this video, we are further going to continue with our discussion on implicit objects. All right. In functional programming paradigm, we separate the behavior from the user defined data types or any data structure. We normally keep all the data types in one particular object and we define behavior as a trait and we extend them to create multiple methods or objects as we as the use case is defined or as the business logic is to be. Now, for example, say you are going to organize a football match where you need to select players from a group of employees and group of students where you need employees who are non-managers and students who are in final year. Now the selection is a behavior which is applicable to both employee and the students. So we are going to implement this using a functional programming approach. All right. So let's see how we can do it. Let's create a trait called field checker. Field checker is a generic trait of type T. All right. This is basically a type class design pattern. So we are going to see this in a separate video. As of now, let's implement the check method, which takes the input type as T. All right. And returns an option of type T. All right. Now let's implement a companion object called field checker. In real time scenario, we create a separate object to hold all the data structures or the user defined data types. But for the ease of use, we will be creating employee and student inside the companion object of field checker. All right. So let's implement the case class employee, which has first field as name, which is of type string and second field is manager, which will be of type Boolean which has a default value as false. Now, any employee by default is not a manager. All right, let's implement a case class called student. All right, so for student, the first field is name, which is of type string. The second field in final, in final here, which will be of type Boolean and it will be by default true. So we assume all the students are in final year by default unless and until mentioned. Now let's implement the implicit object on top of it. Like before implicit object starts with the keyword implicit. Implicit object check employee. All right. Now let's correct this. It extends. The field checker field checker of type employee. All right. Now let's implement the check method override check. All right. So it is going to be if T dot is manager. So if it is a manager, we are going to return none else. We are going to return a value as an option. So sum of T. All right. Let's do the same thing for students. So it's going to be implicit object check check student again extends and it extends field checker of type student all right now let's implement the o check method okay so in this case if t dot is or in final year all right then we are going to return some students else none very well. Now we have created an implicit object for employee and student for a given behavior called field checker. Now we need to have some method to hold both the implicits. All right. So let's create a method called dev select or maybe filter players. Okay. So this will take another implicit object T of type T. All right. 
now it will take a value as t and it will take another implicit value as field checker which will be of type field checker of type t and it is going to return an option of type t all right let's implement this method watch closely so how it has been done all right field sorry if it's going to be field checker dot check and t all right now this filter player will be applicable to both employees and students which will be implicitly calling both the implicit objects let's see them in action all right let's go to our car class comment it out let's create well list of employee all right our employees let's say list and employee import the employee class all right let's import everything because we need everything from the field checker as of now all right let's give it a name a and let's say it's a non manager and let's create employee let's give it a name as b let's make it a manager again let's add one more employee as c again make it a non manager all right so we have three employees one is manager and two of them are non manager all right let's create a list of students all right so it is going to be likewise list of student where let's give it a name as d and let's make it a final year student or let's make it non final year student all right let's another create another student which is say e it's a final year student and let's create another student who is say f and let's make him another non final year student all right now let's see how this implicit is going to select the employees all right so selected employees list of employee now watch closely we are going to use a flat map it is going to iterate through the list and we are going to call our filter player and we are going to pass e now watch closely this is the second field which is an implicit now when we pass the value implicitly the objects which are available in scope will be called and the value is found for the implicit all right let's call for selected students all right so let's call it as list of students same thing flat map all right so we can say s and filter players and we pass s implicitly the implicit is found all right so we can further reduce this by an underscore now it looks more readable all right this is a syntactic sugar provided by uh, scala so this syntactic sugar is only available with scala now let's print both the values and see whether we have achieved our goal all right now let's print the list of selected students all right so now let's run this app and see whether we have achieved our target so what we are going to expect now as we see the field checker first method it is going to filter out all the employees who are non managers and all the students who are not who are in final year so what we are going to see here is employee a and c so employee a and c they are non managers and student e is the only one from the final year rest of them are not in the final year so the bottom line is the filter player is a method which takes the argument first argument which is the value that is coming from this list and the second value which is basically we are passing as implicit which is again the implicit objects which are available in scope are already found for the given data type and the filter or the method executes so this is all about the implicit objects you can enhance this with multiple arguments having multiple implicits but however you have to be careful 
adding more implicit can over complicate your code and debugging will be a nightmare all right so in the next video we are going to see implicit classes and there is another scalar design pattern called pimp my library so how implicit classes are going to use pimp my library and how it will beautify your entire code all right so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and see you in the next video thank you